Hi guys, welcome to today's video. We are actually just gonna play around with new makeup. I have a ton of brand new items that I'm curious to see whether or not I like or not. I believe everything I'm featuring in today's video was sent to me so that I can give them a try with hopes that I would feature on my channel. So we will see what happens. So let's dive on in. The Melanie Mills Hollywood team are rock stars, okay? They're amazing. Uh, they saw my review of their setting spray, which I always have with me when I went away for the long weekend I took with me because girl, that spray I'm obsessed with and I need like three and four backups. They saw my review and sent me a few additional items for me to try and I don't know which one I wanna try. I feel like I received one of these in a beauty box. I can't tell you which one and I literally was like, oh my God, this is so expensive and I didn't understand why. I think that was my first introduction to the brand but they sent over their Gleam on the go, hmm, face and body radiance. They sent it in their lighter tones and then in their darker tones and I feel like usually I would go for something like rose gold but I think I'm gonna go with peach deluxe this time in order to have good fun, I pulled my hair back because I don't want to have to worry about the product getting on my hair. This is the kind of product you can put all over your body just to give yourself like that J-Lo glow. Or you can um, technically use it as a primer for your skin, which is what I'm going to do. By the way, look, I have growth happening. <laughs> I know, I've been like balding on the sides. Postpartum shedding was the real deal, but... Look at that, it's coming back and it's coming back in full force, which makes me really happy. And then I also noticed I have a bald spot back here and I was like, why? Like, where's that come from? And I figured out why I have a bald spot in the back of my head. Now, when I was a kid, I was very reckless. I was a hot mess, like express basically. And I was pretty much a rebel and I would always like hurt myself, usually in the head. I've had to get staples in my head a series of times. So um, then I determined that it's a scar that I have there, which hair didn't regrow. So it kind of is what it is. Um, so if you see a bald spot when I go like this in any of my videos, like it's usually somewhere around here, that's why, okay? Um, they also sent over this brush, which feels super luxe and nice. This is their Melanie Mills and Omnia MM01. It feels nice. I don't do brushes on my face, but I was ready to use a brush. I feel like maybe my opinion on things is changing just because I'm getting older. I'm appreciating certain things a little more. So I don't know. I don't know why, but I've been like leaning towards brushes a lot lately. This is what Peach Deluxe looks like. I mean, it looks like gold with peachy undertones, honestly. Like it's not super peachy and it's not like super gold either. I'm not seeing any streaks on my skin quite yet. And that's, I think... That's the main thing that I don't like about brushes when applying makeup. A brush can tend to leave streak marks and it takes twice as long to blend those out, which to me is kind of annoying. Ooh, damn, your girl's glowy. Okay. <laughs> And because of that, I'm gonna go in with the foundation that I've been using like every day, all day in my past, I don't know how many videos. And I'm getting so many questions with regards to it. Like, okay, what's, what foundation are you wearing? And I've, I've mentioned it to you guys, but I wanna show it to you guys. My foundation, I am using 715 of the Ofra Cosmetics Absolute Cover Foundation. I am obsessed with this product i recently was sent this over to give a try the new formula it's really good blend her in 715 happens to be like my perfect 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 shade what i really like about this foundation is that you're gonna get light medium coverage like you can definitely go full coverage if you wanted to with this but your initial application is more of a medium, maybe light medium, depending on how many pumps you start off with. And it's definitely buildable, but in a beautiful way. Like my skin looks so good with this on, honestly. I switch on over to another brush just because I want, really want to buff this in and make it look flawless. I'm using a Luxie 732 airbrush foundation brush. These little baby hairs are getting so annoying. I'm gonna blend it down to my neck. It looks really good with the illuminator underneath. I don't have a brand new concealer to show you guys, but I've really been loving this uh, Merit Beauty all-purpose color stick. What's the name of it? <laughs> Perfecting Complexion Stick. I've really been liking it because it gives you that beautiful coverage that you need under the eyes without really overdoing it. I'm going to take the very same brush and I'm going to pat the product in to place. And I tend to just do my T-zone area, like here, with whatever's left on my brush. I go on the sides, center of my forehead, blend that out, but I don't blend it all the way out. I just really want this area here to be illuminated, and then I go under my eye. For bronzer, I am going to use the Midi Palette. It is Face It Medium 
Uh, this is by Ofra Cosmetics, of course. And I'm going to use this shade over here. This brush, everyone is obsessed over it ever since you guys have been seeing it. Base Blue Cosmetics. Um, it is still available on their website. You can totally go on there and purchase it. And then you can pay, I think it's like $3 more. And they can engrave it for you because they engraved it with my name. It's really cool that that's an option. You know, that they can go ahead and personalize a brush for you. Or you can buy one and gift it. I think it's awesome. And I wanted to ask you guys if there's any setting powder for under the eyes that you guys are currently obsessed with and think that I should try. Please let me know in the comment section below. Because I'm still so into the Dragon Beauty one. I haven't used anything else. I haven't gravitated towards anything else ever since I got this one. Like, she's beautiful, she smells amazing, and it looks great under my eyes. We are welcome, little Miss Cam Cam, into the room. So if you hear a noise, that's her. <laughs> I am gonna use the Rare Beauty, what is this? Their Shape and Fill Duo in the shade Black. Now when you open it, I mean, this is so much tinier than I thought it was gonna be, in my opinion. You do have like a very gray, shadowy shade, and then you have the black. Here's your brush, I'm sorry. Here's your brush, she dropped her brush. So here's the thing, I am like the number one person to tell you, like you do not, you just, Oh, that's cute. I didn't even notice that. Okay, let me finish my thought. I'm the number one person to tell you you do not use like straight up black on your brows. It is way too hard. <laughs> However, if you are going to use a black, you have to go very lightly onto your brows and you should be okay. Um, I was completely impressed because I was like, oh, maybe, you know, the little brush that it comes with. Like if I go like this, it'll extend it. But no, it comes with a little spoolie, um, spoolie super tiny. Hmm, these, this is like more for um, Cammy's brows. Is there an extra? No, there's no extra. I was going to get excited. But we're going to go ahead and use her, okay? I want to try the gray first and see what that does for my brows. I don't think the gray is deep enough for me to mask the sparseness in my brows. So I am going to go into the black and then I'm going to lightly tap out. And I'm going to start off where I already have hair. I really want to fill my brow in apply most of the color onto where my hair is and then blend it outward and that should cover the sparse areas. So I'm still filling in my brow without making it super harsh. The powder is really nice and finely milled so it's not like it looks chunky. I feel like the brush is a little thicker than I personally like. Oh, I wanted to remind you guys that I do have a giveaway that's actively open with the AIA Beauty Bundle. If you haven't checked it out, you need to do not sleep on it. It is open to US and Canada and um the aia beauty bundle is really handling their thing when it comes to the beauty box game i'm gonna say that get ready because the next few boxes are going to be fire and now that they are a monthly box makes it even more amazing because they're literally giving beauty box lovers what they've been asking for for a while i'm gonna say that so just make sure you go check out that video i'm gonna link it up here as well in the description box do not sleep on it. It's only going to be open for like another two days or something like that. So you never know. You might be the one to win. Okay, this black is definitely black, but it's a forgiving black. Like it's not giving me those sharpie brows that I don't like. What I would have liked to see instead of this gray, on this I would have been like a brow wax because that would have helped me use this spoolie to set this all in place. And it limits me having to grab another product or pack another product. It would have been like a two-in-one. Either way, this is actually pretty cool. And I think it's cool that it comes with a little um, mirror. You can just take your little brush and stick her, but backwards, <laughs> stick her in here. Now on to a face powder. Now you guys know I do not powder my skin like that. I will only powder like my under eyes T-zone, but you guys have been wanting me to try some of the Jaclyn Cosmetic products. So I grabbed two. One is a highlighter and that is featured over on Instagram. And then I grabbed their Luminous Powder. <laughs> I got mine in the shade Carrots. If there's anything I can give Jaclyn Hill just by looking at the packaging of this particular product is bougie. It's like really bougie. It's bougie. It, it, it makes it worth like the money, honestly. Now it does have a, a sifter. I opened half of the sticker, left the other half on, and then I'm gonna do one of these. I like doing that, that way it doesn't get like super messy in here. I have a good amount of product on this side. I need a clean brush. I grabbed the base blue like all over face brush because she's massive. And I really like her because look at this, you have another brush on the inside. I rarely use the one on the inside, but it's good to have. Okay, I'm gonna take my brush. You see there's product in here. We're gonna just swirl. I'm nervous and excited because I hope I love this. And this one I did purchase myself, by the way. Okay, so apparently this is gonna give you like a nice luminosity on, on the skin. Subtle, but pretty. That is pretty. 
oh my god there was a brand that had a powder just like this it was like that lit from within oh who was the brand and i haven't decluttered my powders yet so i'm pretty sure i'll find it okay that's pretty i'm glad i got the shade carrot because honestly otherwise it would like i think the gold toned ones would have been way too gold for me now bringing that this look is really pretty i'm gonna use one of benefits tints it is their pink lemonade tinted lip and cheek stain it is their play tint i have been using a lot like the red one this one over here it is their rose tinted one but they they recently released this like a month ago and i never got around to like trying it so we're gonna try her today but i'm only gonna pop her over on mushy oh that's pink pink I'm gonna use a brush just to be safe and I'm gonna blend. Okay, so it's light. It's definitely buildable like the other one. So we're gonna add a little more, but it does give you like that pink flushed look. A lot of people like to apply some of this on their nose. I don't. I already have enough redness that I try to cover. So I'm good without it, but that's pretty. What happened, my little princess? We have to go pick up Tai Tai in a little bit. Guys, guess what I'm using right now, which I'm really excited for. I ended up snagging from Kaima Cosmetics two of their, what are you called? What are they called? Okay, they're like their flakes. They're vegan. They're little flakes. I'll show them to you guys. I'm not sure which one I want to use for today. However, most of their stuff is always sold out. And it kind of sucks. So I ended up snagging two of these and then one of their highlighters. I am going to use one of these. I think I'm going to go with this one. These I did purchase myself. And it took me forever because, like I said, they're always sold out. I ended up getting the uh, flakes in the... I think they're called chameleon flakes. In Ascension. Ascension. And I don't know where my uh, little palette is. So I'm just going to use like the back of this like metal tin. Also, it pretty much sucks because they're like magic liquid is always sold out too so i am going to attempt to use it with my inglot duraline which has never steered me wrong anyway so we'll see but these flakes are supposed to like give your eyes this amazing like sh metallic wet shift situation i don't know how much i need i'm going very very light i wish i can like really show you guys how beautiful beautiful this is like up close but i'm afraid they're flakes so it's like gonna go all over the place i don't know how many drops to use so i'm gonna use one two and maybe three i'm gonna blend it in okay okay so a mixing medium is really going to soften the flakes and kind of melt them oh that's so pretty i'm gonna take this and pat this on look at that oh i am so happy i was able to snag this shade there were so many more that i wanted but everything was like sold out which sucks now i wonder whether or not this would look a lot better with their little like magic liquid mixing medium situation because this looks really pretty with the inglot one and it doesn't feel chunky like at all and by the way a little bit is gonna go a very long way there's still some left on this little tin so i'm gonna apply it on the other eye by the way look at this it applies so much better if you use your finger i feel like a mermaid now i do owe you guys one or two tutorials with this palette i haven't dove in yet um but i feel like i need to use her for the first time at least to kind of like hook up this eye look just a little bit. Not that it needs it because the, the color is amazing, but I feel like I want to use the shade Peacock around the edges. I think it would really add to the look. So I'm going to add some of that just slightly because the star of the show really happens to be like the flakes. They're so pretty. And then I'm going to blend that edge up. Again, it's not about the green. I just want to complement it a little bit with a transition shade. I'm going to take some of that color and I'm going to wrap it under the eye as well. Now here's something you guys have been wanting to see on my channel for some time. I've tried behind the scenes the, um, a brand of magnet lashes. The Lola Lashes Magnet Lashes. And honestly, like, although I loved initially how it looked and how it applied and everything, my worst fears came true. I kept the lashes on maybe for like three hours, took them off. Next thing you know, my lids completely swollen and sore now the regular lola lashes and their adhesives don't give me a reaction it was just a magnet one i don't know why why it happened or how it happened all i know is that my entire lash line was swollen sore red had little bumps on it i think i had an allergic reaction um and i haven't tried any like magnets since so we're gonna go ahead and try this one this is by uh kiss it is their magnetic uh, easy liquid application. It's their liner with some lashes. Well, I'll try it. If I end up getting a reaction this time around also, then I'm just allergic to something in like magnet adhesives. But for now, we're just, we're just gonna try her and see what happens. So this is first impressions. We'll see what happens. Kiss sent this so that I can try them and give an honest opinion. And at least I do have something to compare it to now, right? Because I tried one other brand. 
All right, so so far this here is nice and opaque. I'm letting this eye dry and I'm doing the other one in the meantime because I want to see how it dries. It dried. I mean, it kind of looks matte. So maybe because I have all these like chameleon flakes on my eyes, it looks a little on the shimmery side. I'm not mad at it so far. Let's see. And then, and no, I didn't apply any mascara or anything because I want to see exactly how this applies compared to the Lola one. So we'll see. First impressions, the Lola Lashes Magnet feels stronger than the was from the Kiss Lashes. Now I'm gonna set this skin. Uh, you guys know that I've tried the YSL Bare uh, Skin Tint. I reviewed it here on the channel. They sent over like their mini size of their setting spray for me to try. It's a glass jar. I think this is very, very mini. I didn't pay for this. <laughs> But I mean, if this is mini mini, it should be like 10 bucks. I hope it's not like 15 or 20 because I mean, I know it's YSL, but still that's a very, very small. And I'm gonna spray the skin. It smells pretty, it smells nice and light. Not necessarily florally. We've reached that place in our video where we can like let our hair down because it won't like get in the way anymore. But look, Ofra Cosmetics sent over six of their lippies. Now this is their 30 Vibes collection. You get uh, the Miami Nights lip set, which happens to be the, uh, I wanna say this is like more like a, like a fire red, the green and the blue. And then they have, what are your names? The Miami Spice lip set, where you get three nudie shades. Here are all six shades up close. And you guys know I'm obsessed with Ofra's formulas. Uh, they're one of my favorites. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick two shades. I'm just gonna pick two shades. One from each set. And I'm gonna give them a try now. Of course I had to grab the Grove. It is the beautiful like camo green that everyone loves. Very olive. Now this is my kind of green and of course I, I, I need to. I need to do this. So we're gonna try her. Okay, like it is very true to color. <laughs> very opaque. Does the job. I'm not mad at it. What I do like a green lip with um, green eyes, it's probably a bit much. I think a nude is more what we need for this um, eye look to make a nice combo. But I would totally wear this lip on a day to day, just simple eyes, maybe just a black wing with a green accent, some lashes and call it a day. Like that's really what how I would wear this one. So let's move on over to hitting the reset button and let's try it like the nudie shade. The shade we're gonna use from the Miami Spice set is going to be Sobe, 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 Sobe. It's a very nudie, oh, this is perfect for the eye. This is, oh, this is a beautiful nude for me. I mean, isn't it? Oh, I don't even feel like I want to put lip liner, should I? Cammy's teething, so she um she has a one of her like chewing, nibbling toy thingies. This is like the perfect gray toned nude for my complexion and I am digging it. I promise you, I'm kind of obsessed with it. And I love that it's emphasizing like the shape of my lips and I don't even need a lip liner for this, which I typically would go for a lip liner and you know that. Those were all the items I wanted to use for today's video. Clearly everything I'm sharing are first impressions. I'm gonna be using the items on an ongoing basis to decide whether or not they are for me or not. I would keep everything that I've used in today's video in my collection. The only thing that I'm questioning is the magnetic lashes, solely because guys, like, I'm a little concerned about what I'm gonna see once I remove this all, like what my eyelids are gonna look like because of the magnet adhesive, I don't know. Of course, I'll update you guys and let you know. All right, guys, that is a wrap for today's video. I sure hope you guys have enjoyed it. Let me know in the comment section below whether or not you had your eyes on any of these items. And we're waiting for a video like this one to see them in action in order to decide on whether or not to dive on in and purchase them for yourself. I'd really like to hear your thoughts. And with that, it is a wrap up for this video. Thank you so much for choosing to spend a few minutes out of your day with me. It really means a lot. Make sure to check out the videos that are coming here on screen. There are more unboxings, tutorials, how-tos, and all that good stuff. I know you guys are gonna absolutely love. And I'll see you guys over there. Bye, guys. Thank <laughs> you.